My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. back to my channel if you are new to my channel comment down below and say hello hi <laughs> and if you like my content guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up or thumbs down engagement is engagement and we invited all this thing and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload okay okay let's get into this video of this thing okay so guys i have a ton of new subscribers that were from an anime video i will put it right here in the cards and it was basically me remodeling daniel's room to anime because he loves anime now there was a mural this is a highly requested video there was a mural that i customized myself and i made and sent to the manufacturer to have it made but the actual image you cannot find anywhere because i made it myself so in this video, I'm basically going to take you to, I made this um, on my phone. So I'm going to do a screen record on my phone. I'm going to show you what apps you need to download and how you go about making this. Time out, time out, be quiet. <laughs> Guys, you don't only have to do an uh, anime mural. You can also do a makeup mural or whatever aesthetic that you like, okay? So this applies really to everybody, okay? Okay, all right, you can talk again. Okay, and what formats you need to use. Um, I will check to see if I still have the image saved in my phone. If I do, um, I don't know. I'll find some way to, uh, make it available for you guys. Okay. If you guys want to use exactly the image that I have. All right. So let's get right into this video, Miss Thing. Okay, guys. So first you want to go to Google or whatever search engine you use. And I'm going to put in Kirito and then I'm going to look up images. And so basically, you're going to pick the images that you want in your collage, okay? So let's pick this one. Then I'm going to hold down on the picture. I'm going to add it to my photos. Um, let's see. Then you could look for another character. I'm not so familiar with anime, guys. I'm still learning. Um, you can put Sasuke. I think that's how you spell it. From Naruto. Okay, there goes Sasuke. Okay, but you see this has a PNG. This is a PNG file because the background's clear. So you want something that has a background. Okay. Ooh, this looks kind of awesome. Okay, so we'll take this one. Okay, so you guys get the idea. You're just going to grab a whole bunch of photos. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to get out of there. And now I'm going to go to Photo Grid. So I'm going to type the whole thing in so you guys can see. This is the app you have to download. This is where you're going to get the format for your photos. Okay. It's called Photo Grid. You can go in the app store and get it. Okay. We're going to open up Photo Grid. Okay. Now you're going to go to template. Okay. Now you're going to go to where you see these three long rectangulars. Not the first row, the second row, the third row. I'll see if I put like a circle around it so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the photos, right? So we're gonna add that. We're gonna add this. And now you can move each photo for where you want to place them. Okay, so I'm gonna replace this photo. I'm gonna use the same one, but this time I'm gonna show the little boy. So you see, you can make it as big as you want, eliminating the hands and everything. This one, oh wait, sorry. Eliminating the hands. And you're just going to play with it, guys, to wherever you want to position your image and, like, what features you want to show. You know what I'm saying? This Sasuke one is, like, dope, man. I really like that one. Okay, then you're going to save it, right? So that's going to save to your pictures. So now you're going to go back and you're going to do another one, okay? So 
I'm going to leave the images the same, but you can change the images if you want. You can replace them. I don't know. I'll use Daniel's mural and I'll replace the images. Uh, see that I can customize to what I want to show. And you could also turn it to how you want it. So, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one like this. Okay, now you're going to go to Thumbnail Maker. Sorry. Now, this is Thumbnail Maker. This is the uh, Thumbnail Maker that I use to do most of my thumbnails for YouTube because I do work off my phone. Um, so you want to download this app. And this is what's going to help you to get your images right. So you go into your images. So we're going to take the first one that is here, and we're going to put that one over here like this. Now, mine doesn't have lines on the top and the bottom, just in between the characters. You can make lines on the top and bottom if you want, but that's not what I wanted. So that's not what I did. Now you go to this face down here, and you're going to add an image. And now I'm going to get the other one. You're just going to go next, next. I mean, I don't, I didn't really get too fancy with it. I just wanted them all to fit. So now you're just going to play around with it. I think Daniel has, hold on. How many images does Daniel have on his wall mural? Let's see. Daniel has one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he has six. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so this one, you got to make it a little smaller. Uh, this one has to be a little smaller. And you just, guys, honestly, you just, you, you got to play with it, you know? You have to play with it, just like I did. Okay, now move it close enough where that line is even with the other lines. Okay, so whatever. That's what I did for now. Okay, now I'm going to save the image. Oh, God, these apps, they all... Am I the only one? Or does your app always ask you for info? Like, what the hell? Okay, so now I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to press edit in my phone. I'm going to go to this right here where I can crop the picture. I'm going to crop it down. I'm going to hit done. And there you go, guys. Let me turn it to the side. I have my new wall mural. And then you just send this to whoever is making your mural for you. Um, I used AJ Wallpaper. You can see them in the comment that I have pinned to the top of my comments. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is how I created the wall mural. I hope this helps. Um, and I hope I was pretty thorough about how I did this. Well, guys, that is how you do the wall mural. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. And remember, guys, you don't have to just do an anime mural. You can do any kind of mural. You know what I'm saying? So this is a good way to know how to customize your mural so that you can get it uh, made and uh, put on your wall as a canvas. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> so this isn't just for anime. You can make a mural for any kind of character or theme that you want for your room. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.